welcome back to my channel. We're going to do another 30 or 60 sculpt today. So if you only have 30 minutes, you stay for the first 30 and you got a full workout. All right, for class, we need a couple props. We're gonna use sliders. So if you don't have sliders, either slippery socks or little hand towels or paper plates on a carpet work. You can always just hover your foot or just tap as well. We're gonna use a yoga block, not necessary. You can sub a hardcover book. We're gonna step on it with our hands and our feet. And then two sets of weights. I'm using five and three pound. Grab whatever you have or go body weight. And then lastly, a stabilizing surface. We'll only use it once for a sequence and we're gonna do a sliding curtsy lunge. So if you don't have anything, that's okay. Or if you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more, but I just find I can get a little bit deeper when I have my hand resting on something. So it can be a wall, a counter, couch, anything works. All right, let's get started. Come to a tabletop. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Next, inhale, drop your belly, lift your tailbone, lift your gaze, cow pose. Exhale, tuck round, push into the hands, urge the upper back cat. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Feels so good. One more, big breath in. And big breath out. Come to a neutral table. Tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. You can sway side to side here. Bend one knee at a time. Whatever allows you to tap most into your breath and your body, do that now. Making your intention to stay present. And knowing that's a constant practice, so always reminding yourself to come back when the mind is distracting you, either in the future or the past. Come to a still place near down dog. Sweep your right leg to the sky, three-legged. And then step your right foot forward in between your hands. Left knee stays lifted, gaze forward, breathe in. Push your hips back, breathe out, straighten right leg. One more like that, inhale forward. So warming up right hamstring, hips, front of left leg. Inhale forward, reach right arm to the sky. On your exhale, tap your right hand to your left knee underneath you. One more like that, inhale, lift. Exhale, thread through. Beautiful, inhale, lift. Exhale here. Next, inhale, high lunge, sweep up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, cartwheel down, step back, downward facing dog. Left side, left leg lifts. Step forward. Hands frame the foot, gaze forward, breathe in, open the heart space. Exhale, push the hips back, straighten left leg a little or a lot. One more, inhale forward. Exhale back. Beautiful, inhale forward, stack knee over ankle. Left arm to sky, big twist, breath in. Exhale, tap, left hand, right knee underneath you. One more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, twist deeper. Beautiful, next inhale, high lunge, big transition, push into the feet, sweep up. Exhale, where you're too open. Beautiful, inhale, reverse, reach back, stretch left side. Exhale, cartwheel down, step, step back to a high plank this time. And then lower all the way to your belly. Untuck the toes, take the fingers wide. Elbows in line with shoulders, come on to fingertips. Push into the feet, next inhale, lift. Wide, high cobra. And then exhale, dip right shoulder. Beautiful, inhale, center. Exhale, left shoulder. Inhale, center, and exhale, lower. Plant the hands underneath their shoulders. Come up to a tabletop, and then walk your feet in line with your sliders. Come into a high plank. Hands a little bit farther forward than the shoulders. Soften in the elbows. Let's take right foot to the slider. We're gonna slide right foot outside of the right hand. Into, one, move slow. So it's slide and back, forward, and back. So you should feel your right obliques right away. You're trying to take your right foot outside of your right hand. Yes. 
Option, knee in for a little bit less on the right hip. Out and back. Let's speed that up. Out, back. Push into your hands. Left leg is active. Slide back. Woo! Four more like this. Four. Then we're going to add on. We'll slide wide, then take it back. Then shift back to a wild thing shape. You've got it. In two. In one. Next time. So it's wide. Back. Right foot to the left side. Right elbow, right thigh. Come back to your plank. Find your slider. Slide wide. Back. Pull back to that wild thing. Hand down. Find your slider. So good. Back. And out. Slide. Squeeze your right obliques. Four more. Four. Keep breathing. Three. We're going to keep it back, lower and lift into a wild thing. Two. One. Right here. So it's lift, lower. Lift, lower. You're pulling your right elbow to your right thigh. Woo. Here's four. We're going to keep it lifted. Pull right elbow to right knee. In two, in one, push into your left foot. Soft bend in your left knee. Now pull right elbow in. Take it back. In, out. Just four. Three, two, one. Switching sides, both hands down. Find your slider on the left, go slow. Out, wide, back, out, and back. Keep breathing, wide and back, out, and back, speed that up, out, back, all right, left obliques, can you feel them, four more like this, four, Woo. three, then we'll find that wild thing little flow in two, we'll start with the slider, two, one switch, slide wide, take it back, left foot back, left elbow to the thigh, find your slider, wide, back, pull, slide, out, back, pull, you've got it, here's four, we're going to keep it in that wild thing shape, lower and lift, three, two, one, keep it here, Lift, lower, down, up. So you're pulling left elbow, left thigh. Four more, four. Push into the right foot. We'll take elbow to knee, right here. Stay lifted, push into your right foot. Connect left elbow to left knee. Take it out, connect, connect. Option to be down on the right knee. Here's four. Three, two, one. Woo, you are done. Lower to the belly. Next inhale, little cobra. Exhale, lower. Tuck the toes, high plank. Downward facing dog, beautiful work. Big breath in. And long breath out, let it go. Beautiful. Lift your heels, breathe in, top of the mat, breathe out. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, hands to heart. All right, grab your block or book. Not necessary if you have open hamstrings, but I like it for a little support. So put it on the lowest setting so it's the most stable and wide. Option for two blocks if you have them. Soft bend in the knees. Let's take the left leg back. You can take your palms all the way down to your block. Bend into the right knee as much as you need to. We're going to lift and lower. Left leg right here. So it's lift, tap. So it's like you're lifting to a standing splits. Push into your right big toe. Squeeze left glute as you lift. Core engaged. Nice. Here's four. Three. Let's add a heel raise on the right foot 
as we lift right here. Heel up, down, heel up, down, woo! Right hamstring should be talking to you. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four more, four. We're gonna keep it lifted, right heel up, little pulse in the left leg right here. Little pulse, pulse. Option, right heel goes down. Square your hips to the top of the mat. Squeeze your left glute. Lift, 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 woo. Four more, four. We're gonna go back to that lower and lift. In three, in two, one. Heel and foot down, lift, down, up. Holy right hamstring, that is killer. Here's eight, seven, six, and we're gonna switch it up. When we take the left foot down, we're gonna take the left knee down, kick the right foot back into a one-legged table. This time, so left knee down, kick your right leg back, right foot in, left leg up. So it's down, kick, forward, lift. Down, kick, forward, lift. Be mindful that you're not crashing down on your left knee. That block is there for that little extra lift so that you can step your foot forward. Kick, back, nice. Four more, keep breathing. Three, we're gonna hold it back in that table. Pump the knee in. Right here, right knee in, back, in, back. So you can keep your hands in your block or you can make them wider if you need more support. All right, let's add on to this. Last little push for this side. We're gonna take the knee in, then cross it behind the left. In four, three, we'll start with the knee in. In two, one, so it's knee in, kick back, cross left, kick back, knee in. Back, cross, back, in, cross, in, cross. You're kicking back each time. Back, cross, back, in. Holy right hamstring. Four more. Four, then we switch. Three, two, one. Right here, both knees down. Come back to standing. Right leg back, same thing, lower and lift. Three, two, one, lift, lower. So now your left foot is forward, your right foot is back. You're squeezing right glute. It's gonna feel harder because we already worked that side. Stay with it. All right, let's add that heel lift right here. Down, heel up, down, heel up, down, lift. Woo, my legs are warm. Hope yours are too. Down, up. Four more, we pulse. Four, three, two, one. Keep it lifted, little pulse. Left heel is up. You can take it down if you need to. Lift, lift, four more. Four, then we go back to that lower and lift with the heel in three, Two, one, right here. Tap down, lift up. Tap, lift, tap, lift. Four more. Four, we move to that kick back. Three, we'll take right knee down, left foot kicks back right here. Right knee down, left foot back. Step forward, lift, down, kick, forward, lift, down, kick. Forward, lift, woo, squeeze. Both legs are working here. Up, down, back, forward. Here's four. Let's keep it back in that tabletop. In three. In two, we'll pump the knee in. In one, right here, right knee down, left leg back, pump in. Kick, in, kick, squeeze left glute. You can reset your hands underneath your shoulders if you need a wider center of gravity. 
All right, let's add that cross. Three, two, one, so it's in, back, cross, back, in, back, cross, back, in, back, cross, back, in, cross, in, cross. We're almost there. Give me four more. I know you can. Four. Keep breathing. Three. Really squeeze left glute. Here's two. Last one, last one. Finish strong. Back, cross, back, in. Woo, awesome work. All right, keep your block. Place it outside of your mat, so make sure you have space on one side. We're gonna take right foot to it. Slider right next to that block. Grab your heavy weights on the way up. All right, we're gonna do a little bit more legs. All right, right foot on your slider. Left foot, or not, right foot on your block, left foot on your slider. There we go. All right, so your block is the long way so that you can step your whole foot on it. There we go. All right, palms face forward. We're gonna slide back into a lunge. So it's back, bicep curl, forward, drop, back, forward, back, forward, woo! So good, so good. All right, so try to send your weight into your right heel. If you need to readjust the right foot, go ahead and do so. It's back and forward, back and forward. Squeeze and lift. Moving slow. Let's do eight more like this. Eight. This one is spicy. Four more, four. We're gonna hold it back, just the bicep curl. In two, one right here. Hold it back, just curl and drop. All right, so we're in an unstable position here. The left foot is on the slider, so we need to magnetize inner thighs in so we don't slide the left foot all the way back. Yes, eight, seven, six, Five, four more, four. We're gonna slide forward and back this time. We'll take the slider forward right here. So it's forward, curl, little one-legged squat, back, curl, forward, curl, back, curl. Woo! Keep breathing, back, forward, so you're dropping the weights as you transition forward, curl, back curl. My right leg is burning. So when we slide forward, we're getting a little bit of our quad, still getting our booty. Back, forward, you've got it. Give me eight more, I know you got it. Woo, I am sweating. Four more. Four, we hold it forward. In three, two, one, hold it forward. Same thing, just that curl. Curl, drop. So most of the weight is in your right foot. Curl, curl, woo. Eight more, we switch sides, eight. Seven, six, five, four more, four, three, we'll just stand up, two, one, right here, come to stand, just turn around, left foot on your block, right foot on your slider, let's slide back, hammer, curl, so thumbs face forward, palms face in, back, forward, back, forward, woo, so elbows by the sides, but not resting, you're squeezing your left glute, yes, forward, back, keep breathing, readjust as you need to, we always want to set up the pose, 
so that we feel in alignment, that way we're able to get in the work. Back, forward, back, forward. We're gonna hold it back, just that curl. In two, in one, right here. Down, up. Woo, I am shaking. So your left foot is pressing into your block. Your inner thighs are magnetizing in. So your right foot doesn't slide away. So good. Four more. Four. Three, then we're gonna slide forward. Two. One, right here. So weights drop. Forward curl. Weights drop. Back curl. Forward. Back. Forward, back, woo, elbows by the sides, spine is straight-ish, option to lean forward if you need to, back, forward, keep breathing, if you don't have that slider, you're tapping the foot back then forward, so good, four more, four, Woo, three, we'll hold it forward, just that curl. In two, in one, down, up, last push. Bend into your left knee, send the weight into your left heel, squeeze your left glute, I know it's burning. Down, up, core engaged, you've got it. Four more, we're done, four, three, Two, one, come all the way to stand. Woo, awesome job. Put your weights down. Move your block over to the side. Move your sliders out of the way. Let's do a little cardio sequence. Grab your lighter set of weights. We're gonna come to the center of the mat. We're gonna start just jogging side to side. Nice. Four more, four, three. We're gonna step the right foot out, right hand goes out right here. So it's out, in, out, in, right arm. You're spinning pinky up. Here's four, three. Let's keep a little hop. Two, one, right here. So keep that out, out, hop, hop. You're punching the weight out to the sides. Woo! Option to do this weightless. If your weights feel too heavy, we don't want to injure ourselves. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four more, four, three. Let's land in the center. In two, one land center. Widen your feet. We're gonna take the weights wide, pull in, out, in. Woo, here's four. Let's take it to a seal jack. We'll jump the feet in, in two, one. So it's out, jump in, out, jump in. Option, speed that up. Out, in, woo, so good. Keep going. Eight more. Eight and six. We're gonna find jacks. In four, arms will go up like a V. In two, in one, right here, jack it out. Out, in, out, in. Woo! So good. Jack, jack. You've got it. Option, step, step. Step, step, you pick. So good. Four more, four, three. Let's get triceps. In two, one, feet in, lean forward, elbows high. Tap right foot as you kick back. Center, back, back, back. So good, elbows high. Squeeze your triceps. Eight more, eight, seven, six, 
seven, six, five, four more, four, three, two, one. You are done. Woo, awesome job. All right, keep one lightweight. We're gonna roll our mat over. So, making space. Rolling the mat. So you have about a foot, maybe two feet of mat space that's doubled over. My hair is falling out from that cardio. All right, grab your chair if you're using that. Grab one slider, one lightweight. Slider, right foot, left foot next to your chair, left hand on your chair, elbow by the side. We're gonna just start with that curtsy lunge. Right foot goes back, right knee bends. And then take it back out wide, straighten the legs. So it's back, bend, out, wide, back, bend, out, wide. Woo, breathe. Put more weight into your left heel. Out and back. All right, let's add the arm. We'll lift it up to the sky as we curtsy. So it's back, arm up, out, arm in. Back, arm up, out, arm in. Back, up, in, wide. Back, up, in, wide. So I find that the chair just helps me get lower in my left leg here. Opposed to, if I was doing all the balance work myself, I wouldn't be able to get that low, because I would fall over. Back and forward. Back and forward. Woo! Let's add on one more time. We'll lift the right leg as we come forward. Punch the weight out. Right here, so it's out, lift, punch, find your slider, back, out, lift, punch, slide, in, lift, punch. So point your right toes as you lift, and think about lifting from your outer thigh. Lift, back, and punch. Woo! Let's do four more like this. Four. Three. Then we're gonna hold it back, little dips. In two. In one. Right here, weight up, dip. Weight into your left heel. Feel your left leg working. Eight. And six, we're gonna switch sides in four, three, two, one, come to stand. Switch everything to the other side. So right hand will be on your chair, left foot on your slider, weight in your left hand, right foot down, left elbow in. We'll just go back and wide, back, and wide, so it's okay if your heart rate is still up. We do cardio, and then we pair it with these slow and controlled movements so that our heart rate stays elevated, even when we're getting this slower burn. Back and forward, let's add the arm. Back and forward, back and forward. So again, sit low into your right leg, Yes, forward, back, forward, back, add that leg lift and punch, lift, slide back, lift, slide back, lift, back, keep breathing, slide, back, Here's eight, woo, seven, six. Left shoulder is feeling it too. 
five. We'll hold it back. Little dips, you've got it. In four. In three. In two. Last one. Slide it back, hold it there. Little dip, back. Dip, dip, dip. Give me four. Three, two, one. Come to stand. Woo! Move your props out of the way. Slide her down, weight down. Grab your chair. Slide it a little bit closer towards your mat. Step your feet on that padded surface. Let's find a little stretch. Right foot stays forward, left foot goes back. Then press your hips forward, big breath in. On your breath out, straighten right leg, lean over. One more like that, inhale forward. And exhale back, hold. So think about taking the tailbone up. This is like a supported pyramid. Such a good stretch for the back of the right leg. I know it feels good in my body. Beautiful. Next inhale, let's lift. Pull the left heel in. Take hold with the left hand. Little quad stretch. Maybe you want to take it to more of a dancer. Kicking your foot back, stretching the front of the leg. Whatever you choose. Move with breath. Beautiful. And then step your left foot down. Cross your right leg over, figure four. Send your weight back into your left heel. Flex your right foot a lot. Big breath in. Big breath out. Beautiful. Come back up to stand. Step your right foot back this time. Hands on your chair. Inhale, press the hips forward. Big breath in. Exhale, push the hips back. Straight and left leg. One more inhale forward. And exhale back. Holding here in this modified pyramid shape. Hips are square, crown of the head reaching. Feels so good to stretch. Big breath in. Big breath out. Beautiful, inhale to reach, or to lift up. Right hand, right foot. Finding that quad stretch, maybe a dancer. Kick foot into hand, hand into foot. Big breath in. And big breath out. Gently releasing, right foot down, cross, left leg over. Little figure four, big breath in. And big breath out. Beautiful, come up to stand. Move your chair out of the way, we don't need it again. All right, if you're leaving, great job. Thank you so much for being here. If you're staying, grab one slider. All right, grab your slider. We're gonna keep the mat like this for the rest of class. Take a seat on the padded surface. Take the slider out towards the back of the mat. Now come into a seat. Take your feet towards the top right corner of your mat. Pull your inner thighs towards each other. So it's kind of like an angled seat, feet diagonal. We're gonna take right arm out to the right. Try to lower the belly. So it's down for two and in, squeeze. Out, lower, in, squeeze. So you can feel your right lat and side body working. Lower, you can take left hand to hip if that feels good. Lower, lift. Let's add the arm. Left arm overhead, pull in. All right, let's add left leg into in one, right here, left leg in, lower, in, lower. So now we're working both side bodies and right arm. All right, if this feels good, stay. If you want to full V up, go with me. Both feet, lower, both feet, lower, lift. Woo, that is so hard. Four more, four, three, then we're gonna just switch sides. In two, in one, 
Just turn over, feet to the top left corner, come to your seat. Left hand on your slider, right hand can be at your hip. Lower down, lift. Lower down, lift. So it's kind of like you're leaning back to take your left arm out. Can you use your obliques to pull you in? Let's add the arm. Right arm overhead, pull in, down, up. Let's add the leg, right one. So it's lift, lower, lift, lower, core engaged. Option, add both legs right here. Lift up, lower down, lift up, lower down. Keep breathing. Eight more. Eight. And six. Here's four. Three. Two. One. You are done. Woo, that one is killer. All right. Turn over into a table. Knees are going to be on that padded surface. Take your slider underneath your left foot. All right, slider under left foot. Right toes are tucked. Knees on that padded surface. Soften in the elbows. And then stretch your left leg back, square your hips. We're gonna lift the right knee as we pull left knee into the chest, slow. In four, three, two, one. So it's in, back, tap the right knee. In, back. So I want you to think about doing a cruncher with your spine as you pull the left knee in. Soften in your elbows. Core is super engaged here. In and out. In and out. Woo! In and out. So good. Four more. Four. Then we're going to keep the right knee hovering. Pump the left leg in and out. Not yet. In two. In one, right knee hovers out, in. So you're holding in that bear shape. Knees hovering out, in. All right, four more. Four, we're going to keep the leg long. Take it side to side behind us. In two, in one. So it's right, left. Right quad should be talking to you. Push into your hands. Core engaged. Here's four. We're going to keep the slider to the right. Take the left knee down. Transition right here. Come on down. Left knee down. Slider onto the right. Take it with the right foot. Come on to right fingertips. We're going to pull the right knee and open the hip so knee points up. Then take it back. In, out. Woo! Right quad, out, in. So you're turning the knee up. Finding that external rotation shape. Yes. Out, in. So good. Out, in. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five. We're going to add on four. When we take it back, we'll lift the leg in three, in two, one. So it's back, leg up. Find your slider, slide in. Back, leg up, slide in. Back, leg up, in, slide. Woo! Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four more, four. We're gonna keep it out long, leg lifted, little pulse. In two, one right here, pulse. Point your toes, try to stack your hips, pulse. Try to lift with your outside right thigh, pulse. Pulse, woo! You've got it. Four more. Four. Squeeze your right outer booty. Three. We're going to find that slider. Slide forward. Not yet. In four. Three. 
two, one, right here. Find your slider, slider, right foot in line with the mat, then slide it back wide. So it's in front, wide. Let's add a lift each time we come in front and that diagonal. Right here, we'll start front. So it's forward, lift, slide, back, lift, slide, forward, lift, back, slide, lift. So it's totally normal. If you're feeling your left leg a lot here, it's doing so much stabilization in the glute medius. That is good. We want that. Core is engaged. You're on your right fingertips for a little bit more lift. If you needed to, you could grab your block. Forward, lift, back, lift. Woo! Four more. Four, we're gonna keep it forward. Little pulse. In three, in two, one right here. Keep it lifted, little pulse. Lift, lift, that is killer. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Slide your slider back. Woo, awesome job. All right, come onto your right hand. Grab the slider underneath your right foot this time. Left knee plants, toes are tucked under. Are we ready to do that again? Yeah, we are. We did it once, we can do it again. All right, push into your hands, soften in the elbows. Now take your right leg back. Same thing, we're gonna lift the left knee. As we slide in slow, hips are square. In four, three, two, one. Jump in when you're ready. In and back. In and back. So thinking about doing a cruncher with your spine to pull the knee in. In and back. Slow and controlled movements. Yes. In and back, in, and back, woo, in, and back, in, and back, you've got it, eight more, seven, six, then we'll keep the left knee hovering, pump the right leg in and out. You've got it. In four, three, two, one. Pump out, in, out, in. Your left knee is hovering. Your quad should be talking to you. Here's four. We're gonna slide the slider side to side. Starting left, right leg long. Right here, right leg long. Slide left, right, left, right. Woo! Four more, four, we take the slider to the left. Three, two, one slider to the left, right knee down. Find that slider with the left foot, come on to left fingertips. We're gonna pull left knee in, then slide it back long to the diagonal, in and long. So your hips are externally rotated when you pull the knee in, out and in. They go back to slight internal rotation when you take it to, to the long diagonal. In and out. Woo! Let's do eight more. You've got it. Eight. And six. We'll add that lift when we take it back. In four, three, two, one. Right here, so it's slide in, back, lift, slider, 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 in, back, lift, slider. Here's four. Woo! Three, we're gonna hold it back. Left leg lifted, little pulse in two, in one, little pulse. Point your left toes, think about lifting with your outer left thigh in glute, lift, yes, lift. 
That is spicy. Let's do eight more. You've got it. Here's eight. Seven. Then we're going to slide in front. Not yet. In four. Three. Two. One. Right here. Find your slider. So it's front, back, front, back. You're sliding forward, back. Four more. Four. Let's add that lift. Each time we go forward and back, we'll start forward in three, in two, in one. So it's lift, slider, back, lift, slider, forward, lift, slider, back, lift, slider, forward. Keep breathing. Keep moving. You've got this. We're almost there. Using left outer booty to lift. Here's eight, seven, six. We're going to keep it in front. Just lower and lift. Four, three, two, one. Keep it forward. Little pulse up and up. Lift and lift. Woo! We're so close. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Woo! Holy outer glutes. That was so good. Awesome. All right, grab both sliders. We're close. Only a couple more left. You've got it. We're going to turn around. Sliders are going to be underneath the hands. We're going to do a little bit of upper body here. So knees down on that padded surface. Feet back. Hips in line. If your wrists are not feeling this, you can do this on your forearms. Cool. Let's slide the right hand forward as we lower down into a push-up right here. So it's forward and in. Left arm and in. So this is such a good chest workout. Forward and in. It's like you're doing a tricep push-up in the other arm that's staying still. Forward and in. Forward and in. Woo! You got it. Four more. Four. We're going to hold right arm out in two. In one right here, little pulse and press. So it's like you're just pushing the right hand forward an inch. Little pulse in the left arm. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Switch. Left arm. Pulse. Pulse. Woo. Four more. You've got it. Four. Three. Two. One. Both hands in. Wide push up this time. So right hand goes out. Wide push up. Right hand slides in. Wide. Center, wide, center. So you're sliding the slider out one at a time. Elbows are going wide. Core is engaged here to support you. Center, out. Eight more, eight. Woo! Seven. Keep breathing. Six. Five, option to do it both at the same time. Not yet. In four. Three, you can keep the one arm. In two. In one, so it's slide both out, slide both in. Slide both out, in, out, in. Woo! That is so hard. We're almost there. Out, in, you've got it, four more, four, then we hold low, in three, in two, one, hold low, little dip, dip, last push, four, three, two, one, woo, holy upper body, oh my goodness, all right, keep your sliders 
Just turn around. Two songs left. I'm going to flip mine over just because they're more slippery on that side. We're going to take our knees onto the sliders. This one's a little bit funky. So hands down on your mat. You're in a table. Feet are about hips width. Untuck them. Knees are about hips width. We're going to slide the knees out slow. Use the inner thighs to pull them back in. Option. Do this on your forearms. So we'll slide out and in. It's like you're doing a frog pose. Out and in. Can you use your inner thighs to slide in? Yes. Out and in. Move slow. And you're only moving to the point that you feel your edge. So your hips do not have to go all the way down. Out and in. Focus his inner thighs here. In, out, in, out. Keep breathing. Out and in. My toes feel fine pointed, but if you need to flex them and turn them out for your knees, go ahead and do so. Listen to your body. You know it way better than I do. Four more. Four. We're going to hold it out. Just pull in an inch, out an inch. Two. One right here. Little pull. Pull. Slide. Slide. Inner thighs should be on fire. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four more. Four. Then we'll go full range. In three. In two. One right here. Slide. In. Out. Two. Slide. In. Out. Two. I'm fatiguing. Slide. In. Out. Two. Slide. In. Out. Two. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Ooh, I almost lost my slider. Four more. Four. Three. Let's hold it out. In two. In one. Hold it out. Just hold. Four. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Three, two, one. Lean forward. Come on to the belly. And then turn around onto your back. Awesome job. All right. Make yourself a little seat on the edge of your mat, but I want your sit bones to be on it. Sliders go underneath the feet. Last song, how are we feeling? Good, ready to be done? All right, we're gonna get our core one more time. Rectus and transverse. So pull your belly button down to your spine. Elbows are wide. We're gonna start with the feet wide and then we're gonna pull feet together as we crunch more inner thighs in four, three, two, one, move slow, feet in, little crunch, feet out, lower down. Feet in, little crunch, feet out, lower down, speed it up, in, out, in, out. So your heels are pressing into your sliders. You have the natural curve in your low spine. Your head is heavy. Your core is so engaged. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five. Magnetize your inner thighs in. Four, three, we'll hold it in the center. Little pulse as we pull. Sliders in right here. Hold in center, little pulse. So it's a tiny little movement with your sliders. You're pulsing with the chest and the shoulders. Little bend, extend in the legs. Pull, pull. Woo, I feel my core. Let's do eight more. You've got it. Here's eight. Can you keep that space in between your chin and your chest? Here's six. Four more. 
four, three, we're gonna slide wide one more time, two, one, start slow, so it's out, pull in, out, pull in, lay down, lift up, lay down, lift up, holy core, down, up, down, up, woo, down, up, here's four, three, we're gonna hold feet in, little pulse, in two, in one right here, little pulse in, bend, bend, all right, reach your arms forward if that feels okay on your neck. We're gonna come up to a full sit up with the sliders. I know you can. Try to keep a rounding in your spine like that C curve. In four, three, two, one, lift. Feet in, lower, slow, lift. Feet in, lower, slow, lift. Feet in. Lower, slow, lift. Feet in, lower, slow. Eight more, lift. Feet in, lower, slow, lift. Feet in, lower, slow. Here's four. We're gonna keep it in. Twist side to side to finish. Right here, hold it in. Hands behind the head, twist right. Twist left, twist right, twist left. A Little bit of obliques to end. You're sliding the foot out as you twist opposite. In, in, twist left, twist right. Four more, twist, twist, three, twist, two. Last one, even up the sides. And then you are done. Woo, awesome job, all right. Move your sliders, beautiful. You can turn around to roll your mat back out so that we can have a little stretch. Oops, let's put our knees down. Almost fell there. That's how I know I'm fatigued. All right, knees down if you like. A block in between your thighs for camel, grab it. That's what we'll do. You can tuck the toes under if that feels better in your body. Tuck the tailbone under, start to feel that open the front of the legs, hip flexors, so as hands to the low back. Elbows in, stretching chest. Big breath in, start to lift the spine, lift the gaze, lift the heart. And then on your exhale, lean back, open. Maybe dropping the head back if that feels good, but only if it feels good in your body. Never compromising to go deeper. I want the focus here to be an opening rather than a back bend. One more breath, big breath in. Big breath out. Beautiful, come back up to center. Drop the hands down, walk yourself out into a puppy pose. Hips high, belly drops, maybe the forehead rests. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Two more cycles of breath here. So feeling an opening in the chest, the side bodies, as well as the belly. One more breath in. Breath out. Beautiful, come forward, Sphinx pose, press the feet into the floor, elbows by the rib cage, isometrically pull elbows back as you open the heart. That feels so good in the belly, especially after that core work. So knowing that the elbow is drawing back is going to propel your heart forward, stretching the belly deeper. One more breath, big breath in. Big breath out. Then when you're ready, gently lower. Press down into your hands. Sit all the way up. Coming to a seat. Cross your legs. You can just sit in an easy pose. Let's reach the arms up to the sky, big breath in. On your exhale, melt your right hand down, stretch over to the left, or to the right rather. Come through center, switch, left hand down, right arm by the ear. Couple more times like that, moving with your breath. 
I'm feeling very sore after that class, very tight. But knowing that the tightness is there for a reason, it's gonna allow us to build new muscle, grow stronger. Twisting this time, left hand, right thigh, right hand behind you, big breath in, big breath out. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Left hand behind you. Right hand to the knee or thigh. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Beautiful. And then moving through center. Such a good time for a Shavasana. If you wanna take one, you can pause the video and take one. More stretching is also good if you want that. But as always, thank you so, so much for being here with me. I am launching a series next week. It's going to be low impact and mobility focused. I'll put all the info in the description if you want to join. It's $10 for non-members and free for all of my Afterglow members. So as always, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps to support my channel. And once we reach 5K subscribers, we're not too far away, I'll do a free live YouTube class. So if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe so that we can move together in real time. All right, I will see you in my next video. Bye.